one, Coop! This game is boring. Plus, Coop never throws me the ball. Like you could even handle the heat I'm throwing, Millie. Come on, Coop. Throw the ball to your sister. Fine. Here's something you could handle. <laughs> nice throw. Wow! What an arm! Get the ball, will you, son? But she, she. No, no, it's a goose ball. I can't even get the one dumb sister. God, just get it. Oh, this is just what I'm missing. My shoe! Thanks a lot, Millie. <coughs> there you are. <laughs> Evil, careless creature, squirrel, Coop? beast, purple, which is the Calm creature down. that the What's the matter? And what happened to your shoe? Where's the ball? <laughs> Evil, naked, sewer rat with fangs. Horrible, hairless eyes. <laughs> Millie! It got her! It? That's Daddy! Look, look at what I found! <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest kitty in the whole world? Wait, that's a cat? Oh, can I keep him, Daddy? Oh, please, can I, can I, can I, huh? Oh, please! Uh, he's got a collar, honey. He must belong to someone. Yeah, someone with really bad eyesight. <laughs> Sorry, Millie, but we can't keep him. Her, or it. We've got to find the owner. <laughs> all right, all right! If we can't find his owner, we'll keep him! Thanks, Daddy. And here's your ball. <laughs> That's my Knockleyville Cheddar Teaser side consolation round baseball! I didn't even think about it, son. Well, what about my ball? I gotta get it back! You know darn well that whatever or whoever enters old Lady Munson's yard is never seen again. And I really don't feel like dealing with her today. Ugh. What's do, kitty? There! Don't you look precious? But you must be so hungry. That's better. Ugh, I've made enough posters to cover the whole neighborhood. I've decided that I'm going to call him Mr. Cat. Great name. Well, don't get too comfortable, Mr. Cat. I'm going to find your owner. Maybe Mr. Cat and I could help. Uh, Sure. Goody! Come on, Mr. Cat! There! It worked! Finally, we're gonna get rid of that bald squirrel. Did you find my kitty? <laughs> we sure did! Too bad, so sad. You found a cat? My dog is hungry. Try to swallow him whole. Sorry, son. I guess this means we'll be keeping Mr. Cat. Goody! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. I'll take real good care of him. I'll feed him and wash him and see him and paint him. <sighs> I think I need something for my ears. That cat is so out of here. <laughs> Let's see who you belong to, Mr. Cat. Whoa, this is one weird collar. Uh-oh. You've really 
really got it out for this cat, don't you, Coop? Why would you even think of blowing up his collar? And where'd you get the fireworks to do it? Ugh, I told you, Dad, it blew up by itself. Yeah, just finish cleaning up your mess and try to stay out of trouble. Uh, cat! Goodbye, Growler! What have we got here? <laughs> Quickly, boy. Oh, man. Now my lucky baseball is gone, too. <laughs> ah, so that's where she keeps all the stuff. Munson, would you like to meet Mr. Cat? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Mr. Cat is very nice indeed. Too bad I can't say the same about your nasty brother. Alone, they're bad enough. Together, a guy doesn't stand a chance. You blow a crater in the backyard. Then you sneak into old lady Monson's yard, and now this... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this, Coop, but go to your room. <sighs> what do you think, Growler? Perhaps Aloysius would enjoy some sun today. No, that won't do. He and Sir Scratch are up aren't speaking. Maybe he should visit with Tom Tuttle. <gasps> Tom Tuttle's is gone. <laughs> Bacon, Bacon! Is your brother up yet? Sourpuss is still asleep. Well, I hope he's had time to think about. Oh, Lady Munson! I'll get it. Billy! No! You are Mr. Cat. What have you been up to? Your juvenile delinquent son stole all of my confiscated toys and kidnapped Tom Tuttle's. Coop wouldn't do a thing like that. I followed his footprints. No, oh, but those are all left feet. We'll sniff him out, won't we, Growler? Tom Tuttle's! Where are you, Tom Tuttle's? Tom Tuttle's? <laughs> what the? Coop, are you? What are? Why? I didn't do this, I swear. Where are the toys you stole from my shed? What? I didn't steal anything from your shed. <laughs> um. <laughs> Tom Tuttle's, a toy thief and a gnome napper. I'll deal with you later. I, I, I'm sure it's just a maze he's going through. <laughs> Daddy's gonna give you up for adoption. You! I don't know how you set me up, but... 
My shoe! So that's the way you want to play it, huh? Well, I'm ready for anything, cat! You'll be sorry you missed me with that rock! Um, isn't anyone gonna get me down from here? Anyone? Anyone see my book report? It's due today and I can't find it! Too late for you, babies. <laughs> Unless you're scared. Watch it tonight, Channel 9, midnight. We're not scared of anything. Yeah, except spiders. Um, the dark, old lady Munson, candy apples, werewolves, double decker buses, uh, sometimes aardvarks. <laughs> the movie tonight, Lauren and Harley will know we chickened out. Tune in tonight, viewers, for the Ghoulish Gala, Channel 9. Yeesh, it's just a commercial. She's right. We can do this, Dennis. You can vote for tonight's creature feature. Will it be zombie cat flesh eaters? <laughs> Attack of the Mega Leeches! No. Or Vampire Roller Derby! None of the above! I think I hear my mother calling. Paco! See you, Dennis! Call 555-0100! Right now! I can do this! I can do this! Each call costs 75 cents, and you can vote as many times as you like! Be sure to call in right away, viewers! There's only five more hours to vote! Five hours from now? Isn't that... Um, the middle of the night? Dad'll let me stay up. Uh-uh! It's a school night. Dad won't let you stay up to watch some dumb movie. Oh, yeah? We'll see what he says when I use my powers of persuasion. No. But, it's past your bedtime. But You have school in the morning, but, and scary movies give you nightmares. Did I forget anything? No. Told you so. All the votes have been counted. It's a landslide win with over 96,000 calls for tonight's ghoulish gala. Zombie cat flesh eaters. <laughs> Quiet. Well, I suppose you can clean out Mr. Cat's litter box for a month and your Fun Station 2000. No Fun Station! My Captain Blasteroid action figure? Three weeks of litter box duty. Two weeks! Two weeks, three days, and 12 hours, or I scream for dead. 
Deal! Okay, enjoy your bad dreams. Come on, Mr. Cat. It's time for bed. a wonder he can get any sleep after you made him watch that creepy show. He's been here all night? Of course he has. Watched that horror movie, didn't you? <laughs> I called what number? Ninety-six thousand eight hundred and forty times. It's how much per call? I'll get it. Hey, Dennis, would you? 
Look, it's Zombie Cat Boy himself. What's going on? Great performance last night, Coop. Better than the movie, even. Huh? Check it out. <laughs> zombie Cat! Zombie Cat! Zombie Cat! Ah, ah. Zombie Cat! Ah. That cat is going down. <laughs> Coop, what did you do to Mr. Cat last night? He's all dusty. <laughs> You're right, Millie. Cat is dusty. Why don't you give him a bath? <gasps> Good idea, Coop. <laughs> this will fix you right up, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Look who's the scaredy cat now. Oh, Millie! I got something special for Mr. Cat. Fishy <laughs> Frisky Bit! Like that cat. His favorite. Thanks, Daddy. Isn't he the cutest, Daddy? Uh. Dad, did you remember my Choco Blast bar? Well, I was low on cash after buying cat's treats, but there was a sale on soy pecan spinach bars. Here. Uh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Baby. Guess what? There's a neighborhood pet pageant this weekend, and my mom's letting me show Hobby Fluff off by myself. You should come and watch us win, Coop. You can come too, Millie. Maybe you and Mr. Kitty could learn a thing or two. It's Mr. Cat. Of course it is. Once Honey Fluff wins, she'll get to travel around and do all the pet shows. Really? The winner goes on tour? Of course. <gasps> oh, we've got to go. The pageant's in only 107 hours. Hmm. Who cares about a dumb old pet pageant? I don't know. I bet Mr. Cat could beat Honey Fluff easy. Ooh, you're right. Mr. Cat is the bestest cat in the whole world. I can't wait to see the look on Phoebe's face when we crush her dreams. That's the spirit. Sort of. Yeah, and I can't wait to wave goodbye when you're out on tour. Far, far away. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Cat! <laughs> oh, maybe Mr. Cat doesn't want to be in a pet pageant. Sure he does. Look, he's so excited he can hardly sit still. <laughs> oh, see? Now Mr. Cat is mad at me. I shouldn't force him to do it. Of course, Mr. Cat might be more enthusiastic if he knew one of the grand prizes is a year's supply of fishy frisky bits. Yay! He's gonna do it! Tell you what, I'll even volunteer to be Mr. Cat's trainer. <laughs> K plus A plus T. Go, Mr. All right, Cat. Let's see how well you handle an obstacle course. And go! <laughs> Guess I'll have to eat this fishy frisky bit myself. <laughs> <laughs> up from when he was just an egg. He had a brother, but we needed him for an omelet. Well, there is no way he'll beat Mr. Cat. Dennis? Hey, Coop, 
The judge made me stage manager. If I follow all of his orders for the rest of the day, I get to keep the clipboard. Dennis! Good afternoon. I am Monsieur Flaberty, the head judge for this pitiful... I mean, this most illustrious pet pageant. Today's winners get all the usual perks, travel the globe, a year supply of fishy frisky bits, some state-of-the-art pet toys, dog juice, poopy bags, blah, 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 blah. You want it? You gotta win it. Moving on. I'm going to give two very lucky people the honor of being my fellow judges. You. Oh. And you. Got me? Okay. Dad got picked the judge. We are so gonna win. Are you kidding? Dad will probably mark us harder so it doesn't look like he's playing favorites. Ah! Phoebe? Are you part ninja? Ooh. I'm so happy you started cat training. Now we'll see each other at all the pet shows. Endless afternoons practicing, late night choreography sessions, or just sharing a love seat while we comb our cat's fur. And, um... In? What do you mean, all the shows? Oh, didn't you know the trainer always travels with the team? Gotta go! No! I've made a horrible mistake! <laughs> Dennis, I got a big problem! What is it? Temperamental talent? Wardrobe malfunction? Chronic stage fright? No! If Cat wins, I'll be trapped on tour with him for months! Gotta make sure Cat loses. We are kicking off our pet pageant in style with the fashion competition. First up, only Puff. <laughs> what grace! Such energy! <gasps> yes, yes, yes! The judges are looking for quiet elegance, so don't move. Next up is Mr. Cat. Well, that is absolutely uninspired. <laughs> oh, now sails the fire! <laughs> this one bound with the passion for winning! Full marks! Tisk, tisk! A six for your own daughter! I should have never taught him those poses. And finally, Lone and Holly's chicken. Catch your toy. <laughs> no points for catch your toy. On to the talent competition. <sighs> Where is that no good hairless bug I ah! Baby! Give a guy some warning! Honey Fluff, you're up! Oh, Honey Fluff needs more glimmer puss. It's a special coat shine enhancer. I would never tell anyone my show secrets except you, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Honey Fluff. Jump! Did you see how shiny her coat was? <laughs> yeah, I replaced her fur spray with liquid cement. Why won't you move? Well, two can play the sabotage game. <laughs> I am moved to the core of my being. What? Isn't he the best dancer in the world, Coop? Oh. Wow! Maybe Catchatori can make a comeback. The obedience challenge. The command is to stay. Mm. 
Cacciatore is out. Maybe if you didn't leave chicken feed lying around, he would have stayed still. You give a chicken a chance, man. <laughs> Come on, look at the yummy fishy frisky bit. You know you want it. <laughs> Madhouse. Hey! I've got you, Mr. Cat. I saved you a box. All you have to do is be a good little. Oh, that's right, Mr. Cat. Start practicing now so we can win next year. Eh, a little dry, but still way better than the soy pecan spinach bar. <laughs> Boys and ghouls, ghastly graves on the streets of Bootsville, talking to trick-or-treaters, and who do we have here? I am the CEO of Phoebe Mart, a multi-billion dollar corporation. My mom helped me with my briefcase and quarterly reports. Boring! And who might you be, little fella? Uh, I'm Quasi... Quasar... He's Quasimodo. And I'm his home. Dad! Halloween's starting without me! Almost done, Coop! I like being a cyborg. Except it's kind of hot. It's a little hard to move and... <gasps> and see. So, take off the helmet for a bit? It's kind of a tight fit. It's stuck on your head, isn't it? Uh-huh. All set, Captain! Thanks, Dad! Daddy, have you seen Mr. Cat? I need to spray paint him black. I can't be a witch without a black cat. Uh, you know, honey, uh, I don't think black is Mr. Cat's color. <laughs> when fear and darkness rule the day, Captain Blasteroid is on the way. Trick or treat time! Actually, son, I think you're finally old enough to trick or treat without me. Cool! That means Daddy's all mine tonight. Double cool. Nope. Your big brother's gonna take you out this year, Millie. No! Dad, trick or treating on my own is a rite of passage. I can't drag my baby sister along with me. <laughs> I don't want to go with saggy pants, Coop. It's a father-daughter tradition that's very precious to me. Well, if that's what you both want. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Luckily, I've got all my old costumes. How about Dracula? Seen it. Frankenstein? Been there. The Wolfman? Did that. But you've never seen Baron Von Wolf Dragonstein? Maybe I should go with Coop, Daddy. Ah, don't be silly. I'm raring to go. But I can't find Mr. Cat or my certified genuine fake ruby necklace. Everyone knows witches get their power from rubies. They do? Okay, then. We'll take another look upstairs, sweetie. Have fun, boys. Let no house go untrick-or-treated. <laughs> Coop! Hold on. I'm not going up there. What happened to let no house go on trick or treat it? Except that one. Come on. Ow! Whoops. <clears throat> Sorry. That ought to do the trick for the treats. <laughs> ah, here comes a test customer now. Houston, we have candy. Okay, Millie, we better go. What about my ruby necklace? 
What about a sack full of mouth-watering, tooth-destroying candy? Good point. Let's roll! <laughs> Uh, I've got a great idea, honey. Why don't we leave the scariest houses for last? Like this one. Oh, Daddy. Trick or treat. Oh, Millie, don't you look adorable. Aren't you a little old to be trick or treating, Burton Burger? <laughs> Guess I'm just a big kid at heart, old uh, Mrs. Munson. <sighs> Thank you, Mrs. Munson. Trick or treat! Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Candy jackpot. Well, we wouldn't have had to come back if you hadn't stepped on my cape a hundred million times. Candy jackpot. Candy jackpot. Candy jackpot. Candy jackpot. Candy jackpot. Candy Dispensomatic is a hit. Let's go in the back. Emergencies? My mom uses a stapler. That's a great idea, Cyborg Boy! Ah! Huh? Did you see that? You're kidding, right? Either our garbage is taking itself out, or Cat is up to something big. Whoa! Why can't we just for once forget about Cat? And maybe because there's a giant laser beam shooting across town from the roof of my house? <laughs> Like, I'm gonna fall for that old joke. Goop! <laughs> no! Ugh. Hey! I was here first! <laughs> what a lame robot costume. Oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a treat for you, but I want a trick from you, big fella. Well, uh, uh... Really? Have you seen a trash can come by? You just missed it. It went that way. We lost him. We'll just have to follow the laser beam. You follow the laser beam. I'll follow the candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is? Cheap skates! Time to go, bro. Craig, it's all gone! <laughs> Did the widow babies not get any candy, Wendy? <laughs> you greedy Halloweeny! than any kid with half a brain would avoid. Let's go! Uh, 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 uh. Ha! Harl! They missed a stick of gum! Thank you very much. What the heck's that on the roof? Some sort of Halloween prank? Uh, oh. Whoa. What? What happened? Some kind of portal to another dimension or something just opened. Like in Captain Blastroid rides the rocket range. Only this one isn't quite as realistic. I'll take your word for it. Cat's giving them fishy frisky bits. He's planning dinner. Or an invasion. Or an invasion of dinner guests. Oh, I miss everything. We can't take a chance. We need to ask ourselves, WWCBD. What would Captain Blastroid do? 
Captain Blasteroid would stop them from getting that food and shut down that portal. Candy Coop. Because I was busy saving the world from an alien invasion! Fearlessly battling off... <gasps> Mr. Cat! I've been looking all over for you. You look scary. <laughs> Have a candy bar! A lollipop! A <laughs> Captain Boeing Starboard Boy! Mayday! Mayday! I'm under attack! I repeat! I am under attack! Coop! Coop! What are you still doing in bed? You're gonna be late for school. Good. Wow. Jeez, Coop, you look horrible. I'm sick. What's going on? I'm gonna be late for school. Your poor brother's sick, Millie. Germ cootie! Hmm. Well, you don't have a fever. What do you say we put some menthol rub on your chest, huh? Strong stuff, hey, Coop? <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Really, I think I'm better now. See, all better. <laughs> no, I smell like old lady Munson. <laughs> Trust me, it's good for you. And in the fridge, there's some of my world-famous chicken cabbage tofu soup. I have to be at the shop for a delivery, but I'll check in on you on the walkie-talkie. What you need is a day of sleep in a nice, quiet house. Just you and Mr. Cat. Okay. Just me and Mr. Cat. Some sleep. How's my sick little guy? Did you get any sleep? I can't sleep. Cat's mugging me. Cat's mugging you? Well, the poor kid's delusional. Uh, not mugging, mugging! Oh, bugging! Well, I don't know, Coop. Maybe you should use this time to get closer to Cat. Oh, like keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Spending time with a pet can make a sick person feel better. Uh, maybe you two could bond over some of my chicken tofu soup. I added extra prune juice to this batch. Uh, uh, sorry, Dad. You're uh, breaking up. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Why don't you come join me on the couch? Want some cartoons? Whatever will I do without my tissues? <laughs> Cat, but remember, my germs are everywhere. an easy blow air mattress. There we go. Now just to take a nap before I watch more cartoons. <sighs> Just plain weird, even for you. <laughs> hey, 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 come back! Let's see what else a little germy air does to you. <laughs> Dad the coop. Dad the coop. Over. <coughs> Hi, Dad. Yeah, <coughs> that's a nasty cough. I'm not sure we have any cough syrup, but you know what's good for a cough? Uh, uh, soup. Well, I was thinking menthol rub, but how about a cup of tea with honey? I found some, Dad. I'll, uh, leave the soup and the menthol rub for later. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Must have fallen. 
fallen asleep. Good for him. Thanks for the soup, cat. I'm feeling much better. Looks like someone's feeling better. Why on earth is the couch outside? <sighs> Coop! <laughs> uh, Cat and I were just bonding. It looks more like you're tormenting poor Mr. Cat. Oh, it's all right. I'm here now. Spending time with Cat did make me feel better, Dad. That and your soup. Really? Well, then I'll whip up an extra batch to keep you healthy, son. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Cat. You've got Coop's cold. <laughs> I'll take care of you. We'll just go play doctor. <laughs> There's no way he's a mummy cat, but he could be a vampire cat. He's got the fangs. Last week, he thought he was a leprechaun cat. It was a reasonable theory. I'll bet anything Cat will try to ruin our sleepover tonight. There he is. I'm going after him. Maybe he's a Hydra cat. Oh, wait. He's only got one head. Or does he? <laughs> Dog to double pounder. Come in, double pounder. Cat's really up to something weird this time. Over. Really? What's he doing? No way! I think Cat is sucking power from the moon. But why? From the moon? Yeah. I gotta stop him. No way! Don't go near him! Nothing. Coop, Dennis, come 
everyone inside for breakfast. Coming! Boy, I'm starving. How did Fishy Frisky Bits get in my bowl? Maybe it'll make your coat silky. <laughs> You'll probably get used to the taste. I'm telling you, I'm not turning into... Hey, where'd all my cars and action figures go? Yarn? Wind up mice? Someone's playing a trick, and I know who! <laughs> it's you! You must have done it in your sleep. The cat side of your brain is taking over already. Pretty soon, you'll be 100% work cat! That's crazy! Crazy like a cat? <laughs> 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 kidding, kidding, I'm just kidding. Need more proof? Here you go. Aren't these old pop-up books? Shh! Sorry. Your evidence is a pop-up book. These books are meticulously researched. Besides, we don't have time to actually read anything. Look, the moon rises, and he's a werecat. Here's the werecat attacking his best friend. Cat boy! Everyone knows werecats were virtually eliminated by were dogs in the 80s. Yeah, we saw it on Gassy Graves' Monster Mania Inania show. And the Loch Ness Monster is now a lifeguard at a top secret government water park. You don't say. Oh, your breath is toxic. Yeah, and it stinks too. Oh, that's because Coop ate cat kibble for breakfast. <laughs> that's weird. Even for you, Burton Burger. Yeah, everyone knows that dog food tastes better. And here's the little cat eating what's left of his best friend the next day as leftovers. <laughs> okay, maybe we should play it safe. Yeah, uh, that should hold you. Werewolves hate silver and wolfsbane leaves, so I've got my mom's silver spoons, and I picked a bunch of pussy willows. That should be good for your particular condition. And when the change happens? If the change happens! I'll call animal control. They'll spay or neuter you or whatever it is they do to craze cats. Good night. Okay. Good night. that covers this. I'll go get it and we'll have ourselves an excruciatingly uncomfortable talk. Uh, couldn't it wait until morning? Right you are, sport. Pair today, talk tomorrow and all that. Good night. Coop <laughs> better have turned into a full-fledged werecat, Dennis, or you're both gonna be nerd soup. Yeah, with crackers. <laughs> Cat, how come I'm so hairy? Uh, 
Maybe he's got werecat pattern baldness? No! This whole werecat thing is a distraction! Cat wants us out of the way while he pulls off whatever he's pulling off. See? He's already started! Come on! I'd feel better if I had more spoons. <laughs> I don't want to say I told you so, so I'll just say I could say I told you so if I wanted to. Fishy frisky bits? Wish I had one of those to clean my room. Me too. What do you think he's up to? I don't know. I gotta stop him! excitement for one weekend. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Dennis! Dump the beard, huh? Yeah, it wasn't really me. Well, all the same, I think it's time we had a man-to-man -man talk. <clears throat> You're going to be a man soon, and your body's undergoing many, many changes. Oh. Now pay attention, sport. This is important stuff. <clears throat> Hair will soon start growing all over you, <laughs> and you may notice your clothes. Dollar an hour for cleaning the house's swap? I'd have done it for free to get away from Cat. But if we work for free, we can't buy the remastered DVD of Captain Lostroid, Master of Disasteroid! True. <coughs> if this place was called the House of Dust, your dad would be a gazillionaire. Whoa! Look at all this cool stuff! The astounding Blase, mysterious maestro of the highly improbable, reveals his greatest illusions! Oh, he was mysterious, all right. Legend has it Blase vanished while performing his greatest trick, the Cabinet of Curiosity! I had to trade our washing machine and a stack of mint-conditioned Gooey Louie comics for this baby. Cool magic rings! Observe! An ordinary scarf. Or is it? <gasps> Ta-da! Bravo! Ah! Ah! Let me help you, Dennis. You seem to have a quarter in your nose. Presto! <sighs> Very funny. Better be careful, boys. You don't know what mysterious powers you might unleash. Dennis, I think we should unleash our mysterious powers on the neighborhood by putting on our own magic show. Sure. Just as soon as I figure these things out. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the man-eating tigers! Yeah, and the tiger-eating lions! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the parallel dimensions of the unknown, from the shadows at the edge of mystery, I give you the 
great cook tinny! Thank you! I will first astound you with the jug of astonishment! Wow! Dennis, the jug! Oh, <clears throat> And now I will need a volunteer from the audience. <laughs> oh, oh, that Mr. Cat! He's perfect! Uh, maybe we could have a human volunteer. Anyone? Uh, you, sir. We've never met before, have we? Uh, why, no, great Cooptini. You are a complete stranger to me. In that case... Hey, no fair! Mr. Cat volunteered first. <laughs> this act is anti-cat! I'm not anti-cat. I'm anti-Mr. Cat. <laughs> cool. Okay, we'll take the cat. <laughs> Here you go. Mr. Cat is in the show. I think your joke has gone far enough. Down 
holding Blase's cannon? That's it! The cabinet and magic props are going back to the House of Swap today! And you, mister, are grounded until we find Mr. Cat! I need to find that fleshy freak fast, or I'll never see sunshine again! My Grammy always used to say, lost things are always in the last place you look. So maybe you should check there first. Or we could check in the first place we looked last. What if Cat snuck back into the cabinet of curiosity after we checked it? That would mean he's been hiding inside the whole time we searched the house. But your dad's taking all the magic stuff back to the house of Swamp. So that's where we gotta go. Be starving? Are you kidding? Cat eats like 10 meals a day. I don't know where he puts all that food. Gotcha! I'll call Dad and tell him we found him. Dad, it's Coop. Uh, hi, Millie. Can you put Dad on? Once Dad is on his way, I'll be off the hook. Uh, cool. Like Cat must have fallen through this extra compartment in the back. Lucky you've got a flare for showbiz, Coop, or Cat might have been trapped forever. Presto! Oh, Mr. Cat, you look so cute in that little hat. I just want to eat you up. Well, at least Millie stopped crying. Coop, your magic made the sun disappear. We're all doomed. Oh, never mind. Wow. Get the yarn, Mr. Cat. Get that yarn. <laughs> get the yarn, Mr. Cat. You get that yarn. Millie, get the yarn someplace else. We were here first. Mr. Cat and I can be here if we wanna. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Cat. Get the yarn. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Wowee, Mr. Cat. You sure showed that ball of yarn who's boss. It's Bert and Burger on the breakaway! Coming out! Gangway! Do you mind? It's the third period. The score's tied and I'm going for a hat trick. You're not even wearing a hat, Coop. Oh! Hey! Oh. Do you think there's a planet where sisters and cats don't exist? If it does, I'm first in line for the shuttle. <sighs> Birds have it made. They fly around in the sky. Nothing can touch them. Except for bats. Bats? And really tall robots. Hey, I know. We should build ourselves a tree fort. Ow! Millie! Mr. Cat and I are butterfly hunting. Ow! 
Oh, it's so close. We'll get it next time. About that fort? Sooner rather than later, okay? This is going to be the best treehouse ever. It's not just going to be a tree house. It's going to be a tree castle. Ah! I want to draw two. Scram, Millie. We're busy. Coop, that's no way to talk to your... Hey, are those plans for a tree house? Yeah, isn't it great? It's going to have a video game room, a fireman's pool, and a helipad. What's that? That's the balcony for tea parties. We're not going to be having silly stuff like tea parties up there. Besides, that's where the bowling alley's supposed to be. You want some help? Your old man has made a tree fort or two in his time. <laughs> uh, sorry, but Dennis and I want to do this ourselves. No dads, no sisters, and definitely no cats. Who cares about your dumb old boy anyway? Come on, Mr. Cat, let's play hospital. <laughs> All right, Dennis, let's find some wood to build with. Let's tear down the fence. That's the spirit. Whoa, boys, boys, not the fence. <sighs> what? Dennis, what are you doing? What? It's right here in the plants. See? <laughs> Sister, a quick tour of the facilities. Fine, a quick tour, but don't touch anything. You might set off a booby trap. Oh. All right, Millie, tour's over. Time to go. Amscray. Come on, Mr. Cat. We don't need their silly fort. <laughs> Oh, I've read the same comic six times, and it always ends the same way. Dennis, you're missing the point. You've read the same comic six times in your own tree fort! Hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way. Ice Cream Man! I can still hear him! Where is he? Takes a certain kind of evil to fake an ice cream man drive by. Cat. <laughs> the tree fork! No! <laughs> We're taking our fort back if we have to tear it down to do it. Do you see him? the purple rat. I don't know about this, Coop. We built a lot of defenses into that fort. There's no way he could know our secrets. Besides, we've got the element of surprise. Big bombs away! <laughs> about our anti-aircraft slingshot. <laughs> He's got 
our plans! How dare he use our own evil genius against us! <laughs> we put it around here somewhere. Take over! The ping pong a ding dong. Check. Sod lobber! Drop and roll! <laughs> ah, super sploosh trip wire. How low can you go? Why go low when you can go high? True. Uh-oh. Is it snowing? Our, our comic book! You must be Sheet. I've been looking for it all over the kitchen. Cat was using it to call other evil cats and they were answering him. And, and... Uh... Coop, you need to come up with a better story than that. If you need materials for the fort, just ask me. <laughs> Dad says it's only fair we take turns in the treehouse. That you can come and join our tea party if you want. We'll build another tree fort, and it'll be even bigger and better, and it'll be in a secret location. Right after a quick snack break. Ice cream man! Thank you. 
Hey, nobody talks to my cookie source that way. Especially not since you promised me a three-for-one deal, right? What? Remind me, Phoebe, what flavors do greeny girl cookies come in? Well, they Okay, fine! All right! Sorry, Phoebe. I guess Millie's a better sales girl than you. Which is why I'm gonna win this contest. Care to make a little wager? You bet I do. What do I get when I win? If you win, I'll give you my Little Miss Bootsville Princess tiara. <laughs> and if you win, how about an afternoon of quality time? <laughs> no way! Make it a week and you're on. Hey, you're not dragging me into your dumb little bet. I'll give you a four for one cookie deal. Deal. Yay, Coop's in the back! I look forward to our quality time together, Coop. But, but, I... Oh, boy. <laughs> With my cuteness, the cookie orders will pour in. Right. Dad, I gotta help Millie win the top cookie seller contest. Ah, that's very brotherly of you, Coop. There's a four-for-one deal at stake. What we need is a gimmick. But what? <laughs> I think somebody just volunteered to play dress-up. I wasn't talking about me. Aw, uh, don't you look cute? Yeah, cute like victory. Yep, well, it's all for a good cause. Cookies. I wasn't talking about you. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell some cookies! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's go sell some Not old Lady Munson, she's Captain Cookie's kryptonite. Don't be silly. Mrs. Munson always buys cookies from me. <laughs> oh, hello, Millie. Mrs. Munson, would you like to order multiple boxes of Greeny Girl cookies? Uh, sorry, Millie, I'm saving my pennies for Growler's new flea collar. He's had the same one for six years. But look at his cute costume. <laughs> ha! Not Coop, Mr. <laughs> Cat. Oh, how adorable. Put me down for a case. Rowler's flea collar will just have to wait. Piece of cookie covered cake. Bring a girl cookie! Let me talk to someone with money. <laughs> hey, Coop. Lauren? Harley? What are you doing? Getting a shot of the elusive bookie. Half boy, half cookie, with a soft, nerdy filling. Ha ha. It's going to be in our next release of Crazy Coop Collector Cards. What? Let me see those. Zombie Cat Boy. Got it. The Strikeout. Got it. Mr. Freddy Cat. Need it? <sighs> I only collect them for the gum. Hi, Hi Coop. I believe this house is in my territory. It's not. Corner Houses are up for grabsies. I'm way ahead in sales, so you can have it. I'll still win our bet and some quality time with Coop. <laughs> that does it. I'm calling off the bed. I have my dignity. <laughs> Billy, don't! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little girl. Uh, I'll order some cookies from you. Thank you. That's the best sales gimmick ever! Pity! We can win this! The bet is still on! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Yay! I am so going to win the top cookie seller contest, Daddy! Then Phoebe can eat my cookie dust! See what happens when you two work together? Together? Yeah, right! Man, those are some heavy cookies. <laughs> Here, Daddy, you get the first box. Thanks, honey. Now, let it go. I can't! They're so good! <laughs> <sighs> that was close. <sighs> Even a greeny girl can't resist the call of the cookie for long. Please, can I have a cookie, Dad? They're so scrumptiously good. 
Coop. You know you can never stop at just one. No one can. I'll open this box after you help Millie deliver her orders tomorrow. It'll be your reward for a job well done. All of Millie's Greeny Girl cookies? Huh? <laughs> I didn't do it! The cat did! <laughs> the crumbs on your face tell another tale, son. What crumbs? I haven't eaten a single cookie yet. Oh, those are Greeny Girl cookie crumbs, all right. I'm docking your allowance till you pay for all the cookies you ate. But I'll be 65 before I pay it off! Unless now is a good time to ask for a raise? <gasps> the loss of those cookies is nothing to joke about, young man. You're grounded until further notice. <laughs> if I don't have any cookies to deliver, I won't win the top cookie seller contest. And Phoebe will never let me forget it. There, there, sweetie. We can always move away if we have to. <laughs> I gotta clear my name and get my allowance back. Triple scoop to waffle cone. Report to the deep freeze ASAP. What's with the gear, Coop? You and me are going catfishing. Millie's monster cat ate all her cookies and framed me for it. He sabotaged Millie? Why? To get to me! If Millie loses that bet, I'll have to spend quality time with Phoebe. <laughs> that cat truly is diabolical! So we'll set a trap and catch him in the act of cookie eating. But you said he ate all the cookies. Did he? Yes, we got the bait. Now we wait. And try not to eat these ourselves. <laughs> I am going to put this last cookie box where the cat will never find it. Sure hope the cat won't eat that box of cookies and frame me for it. Hmm. Waffle Cone, what's your status? Waffle Cone is in the cooler. I repeat, Checkpoint Chowtown is... Yeah, I can see for myself. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Kitty! Shh. Did he see us? I'll check. He's gone! Way to blow our cover, Dennis. Me? You're the one who said shh. <laughs> what is going <laughs> Millie! You ate the cookies? They were so good! Ha! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! And for once, it wasn't you! But more importantly, it wasn't me! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Coop. I was wrong to accuse you. And as for you, Millie, well, I'm very disappointed. Welcome to my world. You'll spend an extra long time out in your room today. That's it? For eating all those cookies? She's just a little girl. And the call of the cookie is strong. But she does have to say she's sorry for framing you. Yeah! Millie? What he said. Close it up! All right! I just heard that Millie sold the most cookies. I've come to give her my little Miss Bootsville tiara. Yep, thanks. See you around. <clears throat> Phoebe, but Coop's been grounded until further notice. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I've been a bad, bad boy. Oh, well, maybe Honey Fluff and I can spend some quality time with Millie and Mr. Cow. Uh, Kitty, Kitty Pageant! Can I wear your tiara? Don't push your luck. I saved us an extra box. Cookie, anyone? <laughs> 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 All eyes are on Coop Burtonberger as he attempts a new world record. Stand from through me. <laughs> a little focus, please, Dennis. I have an important jump to make. 
my jump, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> you! Scoop, it's getting dark. Bedtime! Uh, coming, Dad! Could you please make sure Cat makes it home, too? Oh, I'll make sure. You messed up my jump, and now I'm gonna mess you up, Cat! Uh, ah! uh, Roadhogs! <laughs> Is that kid? Go! No time, Dad. Yeah. Gotta lock up. Cat's inside. <laughs> the upstairs window. <laughs> Too slow. Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat. Coop, have you seen Mr. Cat? Uh, he's probably in the laundry basket downstairs. Oh, well, as long as he's safe and sound. Nighty night! I <laughs> <sighs> guess you'll just have to stay outside with the other cats tonight. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Time to get up. <gasps> oh, no! Mr. Cat! Where are you? Mr. Cat! Oh, what was that? Nothing like a fresh paper in the morning. Yeah! What? What is it? Cat's evil! I have proof! Coop locked Mr. Cat outside all night, and now he's all shivery. Mm. It's an act! Billy's cat is training a cat army to attack me! Look! Uh, Coop, why is your underwear in the yard? But they were a lot meaner before with their claws and their hissing and... Never mind. Ooh, more kitty. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Cat is more than enough feline for this household. Shoot, Cat, go! 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 go. Hmm. Cat does look a bit off, doesn't he? He always looks like that. We should make it up to Mr. Cat, Daddy. We should buy him a new toy with Coop's allowance. He sure goes through them fast. But I might have found just the thing at the House of Swap the other day. Ta-da! Ooh, Mr. Cat will love it. Look. Well, just don't let him destroy it too soon. Hmm? Come on, Mr. Cat. Play with your mouth. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Ignore him, Mr. Cat. Hey, look! I made you a cowboy star outfit for our hoedown later. Now all you need is a lasso. I'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
nothing odd about a few cats. Hanging around, watching. It's locked too. <gasps> Dad? some new friends and you're sharing your new toy with them <laughs> oh nice maybe we could make a deal tummy rubs all around <laughs> right no deal gotta run Now that Mr. Cat is all tied up. Get a move on, Coop. We're clearing out the crawl space. Time to give this box of old Bootsville buglers the boot. Daddy! My toast have crust on them! Yeah, I'll trim them off in a jiffy, honey. Uh, Coop, can you take this old news to the curb? This could be bad news. For my back. 
It's not nice to tap. He got an F on his history report. Unless it involves your brother and failing grades. It wasn't my fault. The cat trashed my report. I taped it back together, but the scraps got mixed up. In 1492, Queen Isabella discovered Columbus eating Thanksgiving turkey in his ships, the Nina, the Panda, and the Santa Claus. That's <laughs> wrong, right? Why does bad stuff always happen to me? Why did that cat have to happen to me? Negative thinking gets you nowhere. You've got to think positive, Coop. Okay. I'm positive bad things happen to me. I think I've got just the thing to help you. Old self-help motivational tapes. Tapes? I've heard of them, but I've never actually seen one. I'm okay. Everyone else needs help. Sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, a little help here? <laughs> just fall asleep and our subliminal slogans will change your life. Well, I got nothing to lose. It's okay. Problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. <sighs> oh, I don't feel any different. But that's okay. Problems don't bother me. Morning, cat. That's okay. I will not give in to negative thinking. You can have the major munch, Millie. I wanted to try munchy honey bumps of crunch anyway. Good for you, Coop. No, I want munchy honey bumps of crunch. Bert Burger, you stop that racket. Good morning, Mrs. Munson. You're looking a lovely shade of purple today. Oh, why, thank you. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. You're in a good mood for someone who got an F on his history report. When you embrace the positive, you'll see that you and me are free to be the we that we were meant to be. Looks like the nerdlinger forgot to put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the coolest lens flare off his pasty white chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I will not feed my fears. <laughs> Do you have your winky ink rainbow marker set on you? Mm-hmm. All ten magical hues. <laughs> Boots, Bill, Beagles, go, dogs, go! All right, woo! Dad? Dad! I had the best day ever! That self-help tape actually worked! That's great, Coop! Nothing's gonna stop me now. Problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. Problems bother me. <laughs> Problems bother me. I will give in to negative thinking. Catastrophe, catastrophe, feed my fears. <sighs> it's another great fall. The floor is so far down. That's not okay. Problems bother me. Morning, Coop. 
I got you a brand new box of Major Munch. Uh, what if I choke or develop a sudden allergy to milk? That's not okay. It's a catastrophe. Look at all that spilled milk. Bye, baby. <laughs> there he is, Lord. Come on, to the Bootsville Beagle victory mark with us. Bootsville Beagle. It's dark in here. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Problem, bother me. Keep it down. I'm trying to watch the old and the toothless. <laughs> Feed the cat. I will feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Dad? Feed the cat. Feed the cat. <gasps> what cat wants, cat gets. Cat! Anger frightens me. I've got to save Dad! But problems bother me. The only way to beat Cat is to be as evil as he is! That's not okay. I'm a good kid. But in order to be good, I've got to be bad. For Dad! No one messes with me. I'm your worst nightmare. You got a problem with that punk, do ya? No one messes with me. Coop, when did you switch from gum to hard candy? Ever since I wised up, buddy boy. The only way to fight a bad cat is to be an even badder Coop. Is that your dad's leather jacket? <laughs> ah! Now that's what I call walk the dogs. Now give me your lunch money. <laughs> I told you to stay off my zippin'. Oh, Grandma, oh. or your gnomes are gonna oh. take a one-way trip to oh. the bottom of your wishing well. <laughs> Coop, you've changed. So what's it do ya, Denise? Ow! Not cool, Coop. <laughs> wow, Daddy! Mr. Cat will be so happy with all these yummy treats. What Cat wants, Cat gets. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, Wussy Cat. This little box of kitty treats is all mine. Got it? Seen Coop? No. Coop, we gotta talk. It's no good you being bad. Remember me, Dennis? Hey, what's with all the cat treats? Must feed the cat. Wait for me, Daddy. Come on, Coop. We used to share a playpen together. Not anymore. I'm in charge around here now. <laughs> 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 No one messes with me. You're still good. You got a problem with that, punk? You're still good. You're tearing me apart! <gasps> Ow! What? What are we doing in here? That was not funny, Coop. It was the self-help tape, Dad. You turned me bad. Well, at least this time you didn't blame the cat. It's a start. I'm positively proud of you, son. I'm still your worst nightmare. Yep, I'm feeling more positive by the minute. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> 
into the bowl and use the joystick to swing it around and change the trajectory. What's this do? Um, it fires a balloon. <laughs> no, don't touch that! Yeah, <laughs> that was... Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Why, Colonel Carpet Stink? You're so light on your feet. Run. Like father, like son. It was an accident, old lady Mun... I mean, Mrs. Munson. Coop's very, very sorry. If that boy or anything belonging to him trespasses on my property, you will both be sorry! <laughs> I gotta get rid of that cat, Dennis, no matter what it takes. <laughs> what was that? Cat, right on schedule. Okay, let's review the plan. Tonight, we sleep in the tent alone. Cat won't be able to resist attacking. And that's a good thing? Are you kidding? It's great! Well, he's attacking our dummy. We'll bag him and trade him in for a nice, quiet puppy. Or a monkey. <laughs> yeah, there he is! <laughs> ah, we're surrounded! He's brought reinforcements! <laughs> yeah, scat! Scat! Get the road, you overgrown squirrels! Uh, they're not so tough. Besides, we got enough candy and juice to keep us awake all night. <laughs> Old lady, I mean Mrs. Munson, what are you doing in my yard? I was just going to ask you the same question. Uh, but how did... <laughs> Can I use your bathroom? I didn't think so. Bye, Coop! And not a deal with you, Burtonberger! What? Uh, well, you little... <laughs> Burtonberger! I want every single petunia replaced that your hooligan son trampled with his tent. You gotta believe me, Dad. It was Millie's cat. No excuses, Coop. You've got to stay away from old Lady Munson. Time for our tea party, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Oopsie. Out of tea. Be right back. Mind you, when I was your age, I couldn't stay out of old Lady Munson's hair either. I remember once I crashed my kite right through her kitchen window, and she came at me like... No wonder you can't keep that boy under control! You're as big a juvenile delinquent as he is! <laughs> no wonder I still see her in my nightmares. Ah! 
Don't you dare! <laughs> And I know the only way to deal with a bad apple is to crush it into apple sauce. Yeah, how nutritious. I think I've got it fixed, Mrs. Munson. Then hurry up and bring it inside. <laughs> okay, Dennis, hold this while I lay the bait. Wait! Just to be sure. may cause erratic or violent behavior in some cats. What does erratic mean? I have to fix the bird bath you broke. Mrs. Munson says to be sure to wash behind Tinkly Winkle Toe's ears. Fine. And use a sponge. The scrubber chafes. Why won't you believe me that Millie's cat did it? You can't blame Millie's cat for everything, son. It's time you took responsibility. You're right, Dad. I'll be right back. Old Lady Munson's yard now. <gasps> Mr. Cat! Daddy! 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 Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Not the nose! Cut! <laughs> 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 doesn't like being held upside down. Bert and Burger, get over here! Coming, Mrs. Munson. Both Bert and 
It has come to my attention that Cat needs a proper bed of his own. But why? He can sleep anywhere. Oh, and he does. Probably sleep on a bed of nails. Oh, one bed of nails coming right up. I have something a little more practical in mind. Ooh, a cat bed. <laughs> Mr. Cat needs something soft to sleep on. Here you go, Mr. Cat. Oh, he likes it, he likes it. He's so cute. Uh, where'd you get that blanket? I found it in a shoebox on the top shelf at the back of your closet behind a sign that said, Keep out, Millie. I'm serious. <laughs> Here's your buffa blanket. <laughs> Nighty night, baby coop. <laughs> Give me back my blanket! <laughs> I thought we put your baby blankie away the day you started kindergarten. And I took it back the day after I started kindergarten. <laughs> I get kind of stressed out. You're too old for that thing. It's musty and... <sighs> hey, you! Better put this in the wash before the neighbors start complaining. It ends now. I went to the pet store and got that cat a new voice activated collar. Oh, this looks good. Tough love for tough toms. 9,000 volts of corrective discipline per charge. The cat will prod 9,000. <laughs> we want a correct cat, not cook him. This is what we got. 
Mind your P's and Q's, Corrective Collar guides your pet with firm yet gentle suggestion. There. Now, we just put it on the cat setting. Now, now, Pussycat. That behavior is most inappropriate. Quiet, please. There's a good kitty. Can't we get one that'll give him a good jolt, too? Just to be sure. Proper pussycats speak only when spoken to. <laughs> and stop repeating everything I say. <laughs> Say something? Why are you slouching? Sit up straight. Huh? Do you have something to say, Coop? Well, answer the lady. What? The caller! Shh, be quiet! Maybe you should go to the principal's office. Always listen to your teacher. Mm. <laughs> Even when her incompetence forces her to pass the buck to a higher authority. <laughs> Class, one more word, young man, and you'll have a detention. But, but... No buts about it. You're in trouble now. <laughs> okay, that's it. If you all think this is so funny, you can all have detention. <laughs> it wasn't me. Now would be a good time to run. <laughs> You're not excused! <laughs> You certainly know how to make friends. <laughs> you! This is all because you took my blanket! Well, go ahead. He's asking for it. <laughs> it's a roundhouse right. Oh, and it's a punch! to the solar plexus, <laughs> and a karate kick to the shin. You two fight dirty. It's a battle for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. Give me my blanket. Here. Cat strapped his collar on me and now everyone's after me and I can't get it. 
Off? <laughs> it must have fallen off somewhere. I'll just go to my room because I'm grounded now, aren't I? You think? Here's your old collar, Mr. Cat. You don't have to listen to that nasty talking one anymore. No more constant nagging in your ear by some voice that goes on and on and, hey, you can sleep in my bed and I'll tell you stories all night and we'll have marshmallows and hot points. Cool. This is a fine place to leave an expensive collar lying around. Anybody could find me. Please refrain from chewing on the furniture. He does do a lot of that. And I would not scratch that. It might get infected. Just what I always say. And do stop that licking. It's most unsanitary. Oh, man. Dad's gonna freak when he sees this report card. I didn't know it was even possible to get a K in gym class. My ugh, grades would be way better ugh, if I didn't have to spend my time fending off cats. But I've got a plan. All I gotta do ugh, is ace the science test tomorrow. Ugh. Then I'll show Dad my perfect test, along with the report card, and they'll cancel each other out. Ugh, sounds easy enough. Hey! Ugh, my report card! No, Whoa. I think I'm gonna hurl. Give it back! Uh, uh. I forgot about that trick. No pity! Wait! What's this, Mr. Cat? A report card? Uh-oh. You know, Coop, I've been putting some serious thought into extending your bedtime. Wow, Dad, you're the greatest! But with grades like this, how can I? I didn't even know it was possible to get a K in gym class. Oh. But... And don't even think about blaming it on Mr. Cat. Fine. Look, Dad, these grades are old news. If I ace my science test tomorrow, it'll totally bring my grades back up. Well, I guess my decision can wait till I see how you do on this test. I'll be the perfect student and study all night and won't let anything distract me. That's the Burton Burger spirit. I'm on it. First, a little cat early warning system. Now, to get down to some serious studying. Pendulum. A weight hung from a fixed point so that it can swing freely back and forth under the influence of gravity. <sighs> Inertia. The tendency for an object in motion to remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Okay. <laughs> Okay, concentrate, centrifugal force. The outward force of a spinning object. Uh, that's good for now. <laughs> Just a small snack and I'll hit the books again. <laughs> Ooh, I win, I win. If you lose, cause I win. Who won, I won. And that's not annoying. Yeah. How's the studying going, champ? The test is in the bag. Yes, I got him now. Good to see him so enthusiastic. Hmm, what have you been up to?
music isn't gonna stop me. <sighs> Gravity, the powerful force that pulls us all toward the Earth. Well, that's pretty easy. Boring, but easy. supposed to be studying, not basting a 12-pound bird. What are you doing with pillows in your ears? Millie was playing her music way too loud. Well, sounds like she's quieted down now. Mmm, turkey, warm milk, and pumpkin pie. Well, this'll knock me out like a light. <sighs> Don't study too late, sports. Just as soon as I have a little snack. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. <laughs> Sleepwalking again, Burton Burger! That's the sign of a warped brain! Uh, I slept in? Yeah, you slept in. My bird bath! <gasps> oh no! Uh, I've got a bus to catch! Uh, Went the wrong way! From the day you were born! <laughs> Centrifugal force, cat! <laughs> 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 
go, Coop. I thought you were gonna miss the big test. No way. And believe it or not, Cat helped me study. A B plus? Way to go, Coop. You came through with flying colors. I even got the bonus question right. Displacement of water. <laughs> now look what you've done. Mr. Cat, come back. Coop didn't mean it. Tell you what, Coop. Once you fix this hole, put the boulder out with the trash, and apologize to your sister, you've got your later bedtime. Thanks, Dad. But I'm going to bed right now. It's been a long day. I give him a later bedtime and he goes to bed early. Hm, I should have tried that years ago. Hmm. Hey! Bunch up, gang. Let's make this year's family photo perfect. How perfect can it be when we have this litter box reject ruining the shot? Mr. Cat is an important part of this family. Millie's right, Coop. Try to think of Cat as a bald younger brother with creepy eyes and a rat tail. Okay, everyone. Say bananas! Bananas! Hey! And we are looking... Ugh. Well, it could be worse. I just don't know how. I'm tired of that cat making me look like a fool, Dennis. It's time he learned his lesson. Okay, I rope him with the lasso and you shove him in the box. Then we mail him to Siberia. Right. Um, just one thing. Where is he? What? He's got to be around here somewhere. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Cliff, I'm allergic to bees. No, you're not. And I'd rather not find out today! Dennis, you're brilliant! <sighs> what if Dad suddenly found out he's allergic to cat? He'd have to send him away. Wow, I am brilliant. Time for Operation Gesundheit. <sighs> this paprika will do the trick. Okay, float it! Oh, boy. You okay, Dad? Are the old allergies flaring up again? I don't have allergies. <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> you know, we read in school that you can develop new allergies almost overnight. Overnight, Dennis? Gee, I wonder what type of thing or animal can cause a person to get allergies. Hmm? Scrubbed clean in no time. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I think you missed a spot. Thanks, son. Can't be too careful with allergies. It had to be the dandruff of resin powder, would you? <laughs> uh, Millie, could you please take Mr. Cat into the living room? You're not getting rid of Mr. Cat, are you, Daddy? Oh, I wouldn't do that, sweetheart. Are you sure? Because I'd be happy to find him a good home. I'm sure. All we have to do is bathe, powder, and spray Cat six times a day for the rest of his life, and I'll be right as... Oh, I'll be in the shower. Dennis, I've got no choice. It's time for level red rash. Poison ivy? 
Don't you think you've tortured your dad enough? We all have to make sacrifices to rid the world of evil. Cat evil. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Nothing like an invigorating shower. I feel better than I felt in days. You're sure you're not itchy? No rash? No uncontrollable, desperate urge to scratch everywhere? Nope. I feel fit as a fiddle. Hey, did you mark a page in this allergy book? The worst allergies are those to family members, especially sons. The only cure is to send them away, far, far away. <laughs> Sounds a little extreme to me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm allergic to cat, not you. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about, kiddo. <laughs> I don't understand. Cat's nowhere around. <laughs> Must find tissue. Come on, Dad. Okay, sport. Let's play cat. <laughs> Sorry, son. Maybe another time. <laughs> Sleep tight, sport. <laughs> oh, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, no. Son, it's true. I'm not allergic to cat. I'm allergic to you. <laughs> Oh, that creepy cat is smarter than I thought. This stinks! Now my dad is totally afraid to do anything with me. Oh, you're just overreacting. Lunch time, Coop! Am I? Meet the Extendo Dad. Uh, whoops! Uh. Eat up, pal! <laughs> huh, that's a good question, Coop. Hold it up so I can see it. Here. Well, the answer is either five or Africa. If you need any more help with your math homework, just ask, son. Sure, Dad. Nighty night, Daddy. Sweet dreams, honey. Huh. Good night, Dad. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Good night, son. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I'm glad you called. My allergies are really bad. Yes, I know it's extreme, but we all have to make sacrifices. I really need to keep Coop away from me. Okay, thank you, Aunt Beatrix. <gasps> yeah, just uh, ordering a pizza for breakfast. <laughs> oh. I can't believe Dad's gonna send me to live with weird Aunt Beatrix. I'll be condemned to a life of doilies, cottage cheese, and daytime soap operas. <laughs> that follically challenged ferret isn't gonna dispose of me like a furball. If I'm going, he's going with me. I found the perfect solution. A pressurized hypoallergenic bubble suit. I had to trade a moose head, a wicker chair, and a washer dryer to get it from Aunt Beatrix, but it was worth it. So, you're not gonna send me away? <laughs> I don't know where you get these ideas, Coop. Yeah, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, things are finally gonna be back to normal around here. Sweat it, buddy. It's just gonna take a couple of weeks, months, maybe years to get used to. <laughs> that does it, you buzzless freak! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! That's enough now! 
families don't fight like this. He's not family, he's dead meat. Uh oh. Ah! One, two, three, bananas! Howdy do, sir. What can I interest you in swapping today? I'll give you anything you want in the store for it. <laughs> I'm home! Go get down here! You've got to see this! Daddy, Daddy, come look! Later, honey. Coop! What's up, Dad? I was going to spend the afternoon repairing this keen old rotary phone. Yawn. But then I made a trade for this, the Mechazor Warrior Model Kit. Cool! You know, I had one of these when I was your age. This baby's fully loaded. The Thunder Power Launcher, Cyber Shield, and the super cool Zord of Zothra. Boy, these instructions sure are complicated. Instructions are for wimps. <laughs> Super duper wacky schwack glue. We'll stick anything to anything in seconds. Uh, oh, good. I need a big splorch of it to glue these bad boys together. Daddy! Yes, Millie? You promised to look at my ski hill Sophie surprise, so come look. But I. Uh... Yeah! Sorry, sweetie pie. Uh, I'll just stay here and get a head start on the model. Oh, nothing doing, mister. We're building this one together. Now drop the glue and let's go, sport! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and stinky brothers. Huh. Introducing Ski Hill Sophie! Yeah! Whoa! Hooray! Hooray! Amazing! <laughs> Unbelievable! Gotta go! Hey, that was just Sophie's practice jump. You're staying right here, buddy. Hm. <laughs> okay, Millie. Okay! <laughs> There's only so much ski jump excitement a daddy can stand in one day. Hey! What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> okay, that's enough. Coop, I'm tired of you fighting with Millie's cat. <gasps> you broke my new old phone. But he was messing with our model. He wasn't doing anything. One more fight and you'll be sent to your room. Understood? Why, you? <laughs> Come back here, you lousy purple. Find to your room for the rest of the day. Bug-eyed, hairless creepazoid. I thought you might be hungry, son. Huh? Coop, you have to understand that as your parent, I have to follow through when I discipline you. I know. So you will have to spend the rest of the day in your room, like I said. I know. But that doesn't mean we can't work on the model in here. Awesome! <sighs> maybe this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, maybe these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hand me the glue, Coop. Dad! You said you'd come and watch Rub My Tummy Tum Teddy's new tumble trick. 
Uh, well, a promise is a promise. Come on, Coop. Sorry, Dad. I'm supposed to stay in my room for the rest of the day. Remember, following through? Yeah, Coop stays in his room. All right, but save the Zord for me. Coming, honey! Cyber Shield, cool. What are you looking at? How about a little Thunder Fist, cat? You two need to be separated. Huh? Oh no. You two really do need to be separated. <laughs> Super duper wacky schwack glue. Okay. On the count of three, Millie. One, two, three. <laughs> well, it looks like you two are stuck together, so you better find a way to get along. <laughs> until I can unstick you. I'm gonna knock this one into tomorrow. this book, Remedial Remedies for Ridiculous Mishaps. The book says that if you want to dissolve glue, use perfume. <laughs> nope. Don't worry, Mr. Cat. This ought to work. The book says it scares away skunks, too. <laughs> nope. It says a little elderly toe jam might loosen the gears. <laughs> Uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I guess maybe I could let you work on the robot while we check more books. It says here that a couple of drops of radioactive meltonium might work, but they may grow an extra head and glow in the dark. Hmm. Now where is that screwdriver? What, is it booby-trapped or something? Hmm. Well, thanks then, I guess. Megazor Warrior mission, defenders from alien invasion. Yes! <laughs> Attention, hostile aliens, you have been targeted for elimination. That wasn't mentioned on the box. Prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> you did this! You reprogram the Mechazord Warrior to eliminate me! Attention, hostile aliens. Prepare to be eliminated. You have been targeted for elimination. Nice going, Fall Brain. Whatever comes after me, comes after you too! Ancient voodoo ritual to dissolve glue. Sounds great, Dad. Slam and a John. You cannot hide from me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> No, wait, not that way! Way to 
go, Freak Beast. You really huh? Prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> what I get for throwing away the instructions. Can you forgive me, partner? Maybe. If I don't have to clean this up alone. We started it together, we finish it together. Great! Let's start with him. Post. Mr. Cat is just expressing himself. Second breakfast, third lunch. Maybe it's time we took Mr. Cat to the vet to get his nails trimmed. He's never had a checkup, has he? You mean poking and prodding him with pointy needles and cold thermometers? Nope, but I like it. Won't he be scared, Daddy? Absolutely terrified. No, oh, he'll love it, honey. It'll be like going to a kitty spa. If we survive getting him there. Leave that to us, Dad. <laughs> Dennis, Dad, get the cage ready! The door is stuck! Stole him! Stole him! That wasn't the plan! Get coming! Where's the cage? In here, sport! Okay, Mr. Cat, that mean coop can't scare you anymore. Me? Scare him? <laughs> if you can't keep that thing quiet, Rattenberger, I will. I know. I'll read Mr. Cat a nice story about happy kitties. Dog, dog, horse, gerbil, lemur, mongoose, aardvark. <laughs> what does a kid have to do to get a cat storybook around here? Oh, <laughs> okay, honey. Let's check over here. I'll tell him a little story. First, the doctor will say, this won't hurt a bit. But it will. And then he'll take you apart to check out every little bit of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burtonberger, uh, the doctor will see your uh, pet now. Coming in with us, Dennis? Are you kidding? I don't want to be the one you open that carrier. Thank you. So sorry. Really very sorry. Uh, Millie, wait out here with Dennis. So, this scrappy fellow must be Mr. Cat. Whoa, uh, cats are never very happy to see me at first, but then we become good friends, right, Mr. Cat? There you are, nicey nicey. Huh, he's usually more feisty than that. This little fella knows I'm not gonna hurt him. Much. Uh, can't seem to locate any pupils, but that's nothing to worry about. Impressive teeth. Isn't there, like, uh, an operation or something you could be doing? I'm sure we could find a, a bone saw or a rib spreader around here somewhere. Oh, Mr. Cat here's A-OK. -okay. Odd, I can't seem to find a heartbeat. 
I can't find a heart at all. <laughs> ah, there we are. Ooh, it's awfully fast. <laughs> I've never heard anything like it. And now it's normal. How odd. You wanted his nails trimmed? Anything to make him a little less pointy. <laughs> no problem. If you could hold him, we'll try. <laughs> Now this is more like it. Hmm, these clippers must be defective. <laughs> Very strange. We'll have to use Big Bessie. She's got a tempered diamond blade. You hear that? Big Bessie's coming. Hmm, most interesting. I'd like to do a few more tests, if I may. Is something wrong, Doc? Oh, no, just being thorough. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, this is a new one, and that's... I don't know what that is. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to ask you to let me examine Mr. Cat in private. Hey, is there something we should know? I said get out! Nice, kitty. Just what are you hiding behind those whiskers? Is Mr. Cat all right, Daddy? No, oh, Mr. Cat's just fine, sweetie. I don't know about Mr. Vet. Looks like we're next, Growler. <laughs> You are such a good kitty. Yes, you are. Miss Twilliger. Mr. Cat is a perfectly normal kitty. We don't need to bring him in for a checkup ever again. Never, 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 ever. Yes, Doctor. Mr. Burtonberger, it'll take a few hours to get the x-rays developed. We'll call you if we find anything abnormal there. <gasps> X-rays? <laughs> now we'll see what you really are. for you. Ugh, gross! But pretty cool.
Where's the x-ray? Let Dennis go! <laughs> Not the ball! But I don't like mashed potatoes. Not in my armpits. Okay, Dad is way stronger than he looks. Mm. Whoa! Uh. Cool. Did I miss anything? Dennis! <laughs> nah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> you may have won this time, but I know what you are now. Or at least what you aren't. And one day, so will everyone else. Hmm. Guess I don't have to practice piano anymore. Ask your dad if he'll let us put a fire pole here. Mm, I don't think he'd go for it. He's scared of fire and poles. Well, what about a slide? Mm, maybe. Can it be a water slide? Why not? There'll be no danger of fire. Good morning, world! Cat sensor, all clear. No stinky surprises in my slippers. Huh? No crushing avalanches in my closet. Yup, today is gonna be a trouble-free, cat-free day. No need to get discouraged, just a little water. <laughs> Morning. You wore your pajamas in the shower? Yeah, they were dirty, so I figured I'd save time and water. Well, that's using the old noggin. How do you kids want your eggs? Sunny side up! I'll have mine with a side of cat. Cool. Get down here, buddy! Whatever's broken, I didn't do it! Uh, no, no, son. You seem down lately, so I decided to give you a lift. It's a remote control helicopter! Whoa! You know, when I was your age, I had a balsa wood plane. The Burton Burger Special. I flew that plane every day, all summer long, until the incident. <laughs> well, so much for the Burton Burger Special. Have you guys seen Mr. Cat? We're gonna play Beach Blanket Backyard. Sweetie, he's probably taking a nap somewhere. If he knows what's good for him. Hey, Coop, what do you say we put the chopper through its paces, huh? All right! Honey, he'll turn up. <laughs> Watch this, Dennis. Old Lady Munson's gnomes will never know what hit them. <laughs> Danger, Coop! Danger! That's restricted airspace. Aw, Old Lady Munson can't get up my helicopter if it's flying. Never, ever underestimate Old Lady Munson. Crisis averted. <laughs> Let's see what this baby's really made of. Now that's a first-class seat. Okay. Yay! 
waiting for no man's land! Goodbye to the helicopter forever, son. <laughs> Dennis, I'm gonna get my helicopter and Dad's Burton Burger special back, and you're gonna help me. <laughs> Again? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Millie. Did you want your birdie back? Yes, please, Mrs. Munson. Check it out. The response time is exactly 17 seconds every time. Okay, one more time. Could you please try to keep the birdie in our yard? <gasps> That's it! Game over! <laughs> You. Well, keep your eye on the birdie as it goes bye bye forever. Coop! Coop! Yes! There you are, Mr. Cat. Let's go play something better than Miss the Birdie. Ah. There! That ought to keep all the little pests away. All but one. Coop! Time for bed! Coming, Dad! Ready to roll? Yeah, but first, we take care of the motion sensor. Nice shot. Let's go. Wait, what's with these gnomes' creepy eyes? <laughs> ah! Laser alarm maze. Whoa, she's pretty high tech for a crotchety old fossil. <laughs> Sucking the fun out of people's lives forever. Look at that. It's got to be at least 20 years old. <gasps> My chopper. <laughs> Come on. We only have 17 seconds before old lady Brunson and Growler arrive. There's no way I'm leaving here without Dad's Burton Burger special. <gasps> there it is, by the fireworks. Three, two, one. War toast. Fabulous! Come out, come out, whoever you are! Oh, what's going on? All I know is I pity the person who broke into old Lady Munson's shed. Daddy, it's Coop and Dennis! What? Run, boys! For the love of all that is good in this world! Run! you coming? My chopper can't take both of us. I'll send it back for me. Thanks, Mr. Burtonberger. This 
is for you. <gasps> My Burton Burger special! That's it. Come to Papa. Oh. Hey! <laughs> what? Oh, man. <laughs> it's time for the Burton Burger special to fly again! Son. But I blew up the Burton Burger special. Well, at least it went out in a blaze of glory. And you gave back to the townspeople a little bit of their own childhood. You're like a vengeful Santa Claus. Not that I condone that behavior.